more spicy out here. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement these two will generate. Good shot there. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Opting for the hybrid, I think. <laughs> Nicely done. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Was on a good line. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for par here. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Some stuff. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Going with the eight iron here. Wow, what a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Well, there's the line, the green side bunker. Can they get this one up and down? How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Putting for birdie. Oh, nice looking putt. Oh, how about that one? And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to face a par four. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Second shot here on the third.
looks to be going with the six iron. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Birdie at the last. This for another. Get excited. This could go in. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Back to back bird. He's never hurt, Rich. I like it. He's feeling it. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off now on this par three. sit that's inside the house of opportunity already made a few birdies today and this is another good look this is oh yeah 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 Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Putting for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. Yeah, that is not what you want to come up against mid-round, mid-rivalry. That was mean. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. That dog will hunt. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Well, they've certainly got the swing in the groove. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Why don't we catch up with Ricky Fowler? Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. An opportunity here to move into a tie for first. Got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. And that would have tied the lead for this player. Disappointing to say the least. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. 
Let's see what happens here on the sixth. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Close. And this one is for his par. Xander Shoffley currently on top of this one. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. That's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week. <laughs> Playing from around 230 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Going with the hybrid. And here we are with the third shot. He's two shots back. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And that will take him to three under. Here's Ricky Fowler's next shot. Wow, what a save. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Oh! Really had that shot dialed in. Not bad. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. This for a birdie birdie run Ooh, right by the hole three feet to go here to the hole hang on this looks pretty handy now over to ricky fowler he's two strokes behind his rival this week getting ready to play their third 
Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Judging it beautifully. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And as we take a look at the leaderboard, it's Xander Shoffley in first place. We've arrived at a par four. Out a boy, good shot. Playing from around 210 yards here, three strokes off the lead. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's nicely done. Just taking a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. I don't mind this par putt. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. So, Rich, give us a halftime report. Three strokes down with nine to go, Luke. They're going to have to come up with something sporty to get to the top of the leaderboard at day's end. Beautiful swing there. Sitting at three under par. Time for fifth. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Oh, you've made it. What a play. Didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. This one looking really good. So close to the eagle. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently tied for four. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. That swing 
reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Lining up from around 160 yards. Just two shots behind. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, well played. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And now they're sitting in second place behind Xander Shoffley. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. That's some good golf right there. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see, see. That is one of the best shots you will see. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take him to six under. And a sight we're used to seeing a lot. Xander Shoffley in top spot. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. <laughs> Going with the five iron here. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Outside chance here for the birdie. Here's Ricky Fowler. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Oh, yeah. What a shot that was. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? This one will run uphill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Didn't quite have the right stuff there. A seven footer right here. That was a gallant attempt. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for bogey. Nice line. Currently five under for the round.
Well, when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. was wonderfully done second shot here on the 14th hole that's a high quality recovery shot Great touch. Putting for birdie here. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will move him to six under par. Looking ahead, this player is currently tied for first in the field alongside Xander Shoffley. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> Wonderfully played. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Handy effort, that one. Good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Looking for another birdie here. Nice line. Oh, that's stellar play. Back-to-back -back birdies. And what a time to make them. All right, folks, get ready. This should be fun. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that one just... They've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. As you find your way to the 16th hole at Quail Hollow Club, you're reminded that you're entering the Green Mile. Again, only the long players can carry the bunker down the right-hand side. Hit it out to the left, avoid that bunker, and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green and green and two. Green and two. That should find the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. Launch that one into space. Wow. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Wow, they've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. This putt is about eight feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well played. And with that, 
He'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? You've got to hit a number of big shots here at Quail Hollow Club and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 317th. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 317th. Find the center of the green and you're a happy player. That's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. That's pretty tidy. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's sitting there just in third place. Going with a three wood here. A quality shot that so after that effort let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead well if you think you've passed the worst of it after playing the 17th at quail hollow club think again welcome to the last yes water going all the way down the left hand side of this fairway that bunker on the right has crippled many a player. Find the fairway and give yourself an opportunity to find the green in two. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? Oh, what a way to finish the day. Hoping he can close out. Going with the six iron here. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. He knows if he can get this putt to drop, he'll win the event. a beauty you could put it in the win column that's the world's fargo championship how about that you could take that win to the bank luke awesome well that's worth a replay let's take another look And as we take a look at our rivalry results, it's a big thank you to Henny for bringing us all the magic from the course today. Oh, it was a pleasure to be able to follow the action out there today, Luke. 
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Ridge Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.